Got thick in the thighs with the pretty brown eyes. Five five with brown eyes. Smile like the sunrise, baby. Yes, ma'am. So we back thick and fine, baby. All right, guys, we have a bombshell sponsor, honey. Guys, I would like to thank Eunice Hat for sponsoring this portion of the video. Eunice was so gracious. They sent over this gorgeous, fluffy 24 inch deep wave B part unit. So, guys, if you want to know how I achieve these gorgeous, glamorous, super juicy, fluffy curls, keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get into the details of this gorgeous wig that Eunice sent me. But before we do that, guys, I want to show you these goodies. So, guys, Eunice never disappoints when it comes to sending you extra goodies. They sent me this luxurious robe, which we will be putting this robe on after we put this gorgeous unit on um, because I don't want to get water on it. I don't want it to get damaged. So yeah, we're going to put this on. And then they sent this satin bag. So you guys will receive this satin bag. This is where you can store your unit. Um, also, they always send a wig cap. Now, because we're going to be doing a B part wig, we will not need to use this wig cap. But one thing that I do love that they sent is this adjustable strap. So guys, if you have a smaller head like I do, you will find this strap very useful. You can actually attach this to your unit so it grips better and then you won't necessarily have to use the combs. They also sent this satin cap and we will be wearing this tonight. One thing Eunice is gonna always do is send you some lashes. They are never gonna disappoint. And the next thing they sent is this elastic band. They sent over this really cute ring and this super fluffy makeup brush. So Eunice did send over this gorgeous unit. So guys, this is a deep wave unit. I absolutely love it. The density on this unit is 200 and uh, the length on the unit that I selected is 24. Now guys, I did wash my unit uh, before the install and I kind of trimmed it a little bit around the face. And so it's already, I already customized it a little bit, but I'm about to show you guys how easy it is to install. All right guys, and before we get started with the install, I want to show you the inside construction of the unit. So guys, you have a total of one, two, three, four clips along the V and then you have one secure clip uh, here and that's gonna make it extra secure. I wanna make sure you guys can see that. So as you see, you have one extra clip here that's really gonna secure your unit and then you have two clips on each side of the actual V. You have the combs on each side and then you have the secured comb in the back. We also have the additional elastic straps and that way you can um, have the wig as tight as you want it. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is secure the straps, the elastic straps on the wig. And then we're gonna start with this super easy install. All right guys, I have the strap secured. And then I just wanted to show you guys before we get into the install, guys, I did a really easy crisscross method on my straps again because I do have a smaller head and I just wanted to make sure that the straps are secured so guys watch me slay this gorgeous wig I'm gonna chase you out of earth Guys, this is the final look. I absolutely love this unit. 
Eunice, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, I just kind of want to recap on the specs of this unit. So it is a V-part unit. It is the Deep Wave. It is also 200 density and it is 24 inches of long, luxurious, gorgeous hair. So guys, make sure that you head over to Eunice to get your unit today. I will make sure that I link all of the details of this unit below in the description box. But girl, I'm feeling so gorgeous right now. I think we're about to dance our way out of this sponsorship. Of the morning, I'm gonna chase you out of earth. everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here it is simply welcome to my channel guys I am Rochelle and we are obviously starting a new vlog and we about to get straight into it so y'all I have literally been at home all weekend this is my first time picking up the camera so guys it is Sunday what's today's day girl it's September the 11th oh my gosh so Sunday, September the 11th, and it's 7.44 p.m. We are just picking up the camera because, y'all, I have not done anything all weekend. But I was like, girl, you know you need to get, you know, get a vlog going. So anyway, um, we are about to straighten up this closet. So let's get to it. So, y'all, I've been in here trying to, like, uh, color coordinate my closet and just kind of, like, you know, put stuff... Um, you know just put stuff in order or whatever so that's what i've been working on i'm gonna try to lean it this way so what i initially wanted to do was kind of put all like the the dressier shirts and stuff together being it that was just too much and so what i decided to do is just color coordinate it so that's what i'm doing now so you guys can see like i have now this isn't coordinated by color but it's coordinated by pattern so we have all of the floral um patterns together so I kind of have to move some of this. What is it? Yeah, so this is green. This stuff is green. So I have to move this out of the way. And we're going to put this over here for right now on this, on this side of the closet. So on this side. And so you guys see that there is not a lot of coordination going on right here. So yeah, girl, that's what I've been... Um, that's what I've been over here working on. I'm going to move y'all back so I can have some space. So I've been working on that. And then um, guys, ASOS had an additional 50% off sale on some of their stuff. So I did get a couple of things and we should have that in in a couple of days. So I did that. And girl, that's been it. Like, y'all, I just haven't had the energy lately to like go out and do stuff. Even though like I do want to get out the house and do stuff or whatever. Baby, I have not had the energy. And so I've been taking this time to just kind of like, um, you know, to just kind of relax and, you know, that type of thing or whatever. Because I know the time is approaching where I'm going to be staying up all night again, probably editing and stuff like that. And so, you know, I just try to take advantage of me being able to get some rest baby we hopped straight into this vlog you hear me so we didn't hop straight into this vlog and um i just kind of wanted to see um i just want to see how this is you know this is gonna work just you know like um you guys weigh in hold on girl i'm sorry i'm trying to concentrate and get this stuff in order 
y'all weigh in and let me know if you guys like when i start the vlogs off just kind of sitting down and just talking to y'all and getting to the church house announcements let me know if you like that structure a little bit better but you know i'll just um y'all like my white leather pants they look y'all these are so cute i can't wait to wear these but anyway y'all know i'll be all over the place y'all let me know if you guys enjoy that uh structure as far as like i said when um we start the vlogs off when i sit down and i'll talk to you guys and then we get into it and the reason why i'm asking is because y'all the last vlog that we posted literally the one before this one that vlog did so well and i know it's like I started the vlog off and we really only sat down and talked for about a minute or so and then after that we just jumped straight into it so just let me know or whatever I was I'm just trying to you know work on some little changes here and there because I'm always thinking of ways to bring y'all the best content ever I love this jumpsuit oh girl y'all I love this little jumpsuit girl got that from the thrift store one of my best finds okay and y'all something else like guys i was in here and y'all i'm so grateful guys i love y'all so much i was looking at my closet and i was like oh my god like y'all y'all have contributed made contributions towards a lot of the stuff that we have in this closet like you know i'm just like wow look at this beautiful wardrobe guys like i i often reflect on the fire because y'all this is how i look at it y'all june the first we lost everything july the first we built everything back september the first we almost had nine thousand subscribers i mean well we had over nine thousand subscribers like literally just you know, uh, August, we grew like crazy. August was a lot of growing pains. And I will be honest with y'all. I have a confession, guys. Like, August was such a very, very, very challenging month for me. I'm not going to lie. I was August was a tough month. And I there were times, honestly, guys, in the month of August where I really contemplated, like, should I just quit youtube i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be really really i like to be honest and transparent with you guys but i often had contemplation on like you know i just wanted to give up and i just wanted to quit like is this really for me and i just found myself like praying like you know asking god like god please send me a sign like is this what i'm supposed to be doing because it's just like i just felt so discouraged and it was like i felt challenged trying to get content and stuff out and so i'm not gonna lie like this journey it absolutely it has its ups and its downs girl i'm not even much gonna lie and so august was a tough a tough month but we did it you know and uh i just like to always share you know um when i'm going through when i'm going through uh ups and downs with you guys because i do want you to know like sometimes this journey um it's not always easy and that's not to discourage you guys but that's just to you know just really really be honest with you like it's not always easy doing this and so that brings me to this so y'all i watched this channel and his the his, the guy that i watch his name is nick neiman and i'm gonna post his video below so you guys can go check it out so i know y'all remember me telling y'all that one of my videos got hit with a um at uh, uh advertiser sensitivity strike not not really a strike but basically like they didn't run any ads on that video because they were saying stuff like i was suggesting nudity and stuff like that well girl i found out that youtube is cracking down on channels like if you're eating food and you're making certain noises they consider that to be sexually suggestive and so um you know in an adult way without me getting into too much you know they think it's sexy and salacious honey and so they will uh put ad sensitivity on your channel because the thing is it's ai artificial intelligence that's making these determinations and another thing that i found out is like even if your your channel get hit with one of those um uh advertiser sensitivity or advertiser suitability things that does not necessarily mean like um, a per you ask for a manual review of a person a human review you don't necessarily get a human review on that and so i'm just learning a lot and so yeah girl so yeah august august definitely had its challenges you know um so yeah and then also y'all hold on let me put this right here 
Girl, it's coming along, girl. It's coming along. Okay, I'm getting excited. So, girl, another thing that I wanted to... Oh, let me put these over here. So, y'all, I'm putting, like, all of the nudes and the, uh... Kind of like the prints and stuff together. Okay, so let me put these over here with this. All right. So, y'all, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is... It is mercury retrograde okay so we're mercury retrograde and if i'm not mistaken it started september the first and it goes through november i'm sorry october the 9th and i was watching this girl that i watched her name is eric erica de Niro tv i love watching her channel but she was saying like be careful because this month people you know within that time frame of september the first through october the October the 9th she was saying like people are going to be committed to misunderstanding you and I and I, I was like you know what she's right because I've had some incidences now y'all I am very uh I am very what's the name of that long-winded and I'm very thorough when I talk and I think I talk very clearly in what I'm trying to say now I might take a long time to get to the point but I get there but that's nor here or there my thing is this it's going to be people and this is just even beyond mercury retrograde but guys it's going to be people in this world that is going they're going to be committed to misunderstanding you it's not going to matter how well you deliver what you have to say none of that is going to matter it's not going to matter how many facts you put up baby you can have a powerpoint a thesis a symposium you can have you know a, 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 a mind demonstrating you can have some i mean it doesn't matter how well you demonstrate your point there are people that are committed to completely misunderstanding you and twisting your words okay what irritates me more than that is when someone intentionally misconstrues and misunderstands me and twists my words. That is so frustrating to me because I do go out of my way to be extremely explicit and thorough in the things in which I share. So that's more frustrating than anything. So anyway, I'm gonna stop beating a dead horse because baby, one thing about me, I'm gonna go on and on and on and on and on about some shit uh, when I'm frustrated. Let me get that 
So y'all, this is as good it's, it, as it is going to get tonight. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did. So basically, I just um, kind of put the colors in order here. And so, you know, you have, uh, you know, some blues here, navy blue, navy blue, somewhat in the navy blue family. Um, I need to put this in its, in its perspective color family. Hold on. All right, guys. So we have some neutral tones here. So just like neutral tones, but animal print. Um, we have some browns, brown color, gold colors. Uh, we have, you know, again, just some browns and then um, it's kind of graduating into just, you know, like rust colors and stuff again, still neutral. So, yeah, we have the floral patterns and stuff here. And then um, I don't have much white. Oh, let me move these pink pants out the way. OK, y'all. So we have some the whites here. We don't have a lot of white in the closet, but that's OK. And then gray. And I'm kind of debating on if we should take this gray outfit and move it with everything else, but I'll figure that out later. And guys, here in this corner, it's not, I didn't really coordinate this as much, but we just have, you know, dresses and stuff just hanging up in this corner and really, really long pants. All of this stuff over here, we just have it in the corner. So I didn't really, um, I didn't really color coordinate any of this stuff, but that's fine. We can always, uh, we can always go back and do that. So, and then we come over here. And so I tried to put like the lavenders and stuff together. So like the lavenders with the pink and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff, um, a lot of this stuff on this side is jumpsuits. And so we have more length, you know, more um, room on this side for jumpsuits and stuff like that. So yeah, and y'all, I keep these in my closet and they just make your closet smell so freaking good. So sometimes I'll sprinkle these, open these up and sprinkle them on the floor. You guys can purchase these at Burlington Coat Factory. If you see this particular scent, please make sure you get it because it smells amazing. the next day and we're getting ready to go run some errands I need to take back uh, I need to go pick up some packages see if I can get a larger size um, in this one shoe I purchased and I need to send some stuff back to ASOS so we're re getting ready to do that um, you guys have seen this outfit before this is like a little revamp a little remix I've seen this before this is this really cute jumpsuit I just made it into a halter. These are the sleeves right here. 
And girl, we just made it into a little halter tie to build on the front. Um, threw on some flip flops. Um, I'm gonna be carrying my, I love this bag guys. This is uh, the Teddy Blake bag. Absolutely love this bag, so yeah. All right, y'all, so we are in DSW and what I ended up doing, I just ended up um, exchanging the shoes. So they're gonna ship the shoes to the house. So we gonna have them, um, we'll get them at the house. But what I'm looking for now is another pair that was kind of similar to that, but they were on sale at the time. So that's what we're looking for now. So let me see if I can find them. I just have to figure out where all of the, you know what I'm saying? Like where all of the, I would say the Jessica Simpsons, but they don't really, they don't really do their shoes like that. It's just based off of the actual style. So that's what we are looking for now. All right, girl, I am back y'all. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from DSW when we get to the house. And then y'all, Platinum D showed out. Guys, she really did. She sent me two huge packages. So we're gonna see what she sent um, when we get to the house. So now, let me pull up the directions, girl, because y'all know I don't know how to get nowhere. We about to go to H-E-B. So we're going to H-E-B because I need to pick up a couple of things. Um, so that's where we're headed to now. Okay, so it says I'm eight minutes away. But why is trying to make me go to the one on San Felipe? I mean, I thought it was a, um, I don't want to go to that one. Golly, like where? I thought it was an H-E-B way closer. Like what happened to the H-E-B on Fountain View? Anyway, girl, let me stop complaining, girl. Come on here. Let's go to this store and get some stuff. But anyway, so guys, listen. I got some good news. So y'all, I'm back. I'm back thick again. So y'all, since I've stopped drinking um frozen Coke, I have managed to put on a couple of pounds. And I am happy to report that I am 153 pounds, baby. 5'3", baby. What they say, um, thi uh, pretty brown, uh, thick in the thighs with a pretty brown eyes. 5'5", five, five with brown eyes. Smile like the sunrise, baby. Yes, ma'am. So we back thick and fine, baby. You want a bad bitch? Trina's a badass. And she's thinking fine from that combat and that savage. And, uh, wait a minute. You want a bad bitch? Trina's a badass. And she's thinking fine from that combat and a cabbage, a savage. I might give you the money. I might give you my number so you can have this. But anyway. Okay. So y'all. <laughs> also, I never, guys, I never thought that I would see the day where I would be happy that I gained weight or I just because my I've always struggled with my weight for years and so like I'm gonna be honest like I I didn't think like laying off the frozen coke would get me you know what it would help me put weight back on but yeah so let's see here so when I stopped drinking frozen coke I think I was 147 and now that we I have not been drinking it I'm 153 so that's let me see here so that's um guys that's a six pound weight gain and so I think I'm gonna stop at the weight that I am I, I'm, I'm happy with where I am and so now we can just hopefully just try to keep the weight on you know what I mean but anyway so guys this is what I want to talk to y'all about so there is a guy that I watch on TikTok and uh, he was talking about you know uh, 23 percent of women overeat uh, so I think he said something to that effect and that um, he talked about girls or women excuse me that are overweight and I'm, I'm actually gonna insert the clip here I've seen some girls that are like gorgeous but just heavy and it's like I think to myself like god damn imagine if that chick just started to believe in herself sacrificed the food or whatever's making her that way and just got a rock-solid body how much different that chick's life would be. You know what it means deep down? It means that she doesn't like herself subconsciously. She doesn't think she deserves it. She might've got abused without even knowing it. 
She might think, yeah. you know, if she gets too sexy, it, she won't survive, like mentally, without even knowing it. That's the scary part. So she'll say, F you, I, f I just love pasta. No, it's because you don't want to be sexy, because if you were sexy, then guys will hit on you, and you think if guys hit on you, that you're worthless and you're a slut because your boyfriend or your dad convinced you of it or some shit. who knows there's always a reason somebody doesn't want the best for themselves and so what he was you know like he's saying that um you know like they're afraid to be sexy they're afraid to be hot because perhaps they'll get too much attention and i just wanted to jump in on the conversation because i was just thinking like what if it's it's like for me i wasn't scared to be hot I wasn't scared that I would get too much attention. You know what I'm saying? My biggest thing with uh with me struggling with my weight is just guys, I just didn't have the tools. And it just boils down to that like dude, like what if you just don't have the tools? You know what I'm saying? It just don't have the knowledge. It it don't necessarily have to be about you don't want you you scared to be fine and you scared to, like you know, it's it's not necessarily about that. So I just was kind of like um you know, it's just a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? Like, I struggled with my weight for years. You know what I'm saying? And so, I finally met somebody who put me on. Guys, the gastric sleeve surgery that I had, y'all, this surgery has been in existence for years. But it was kind of like the best kept secret. You know, not everybody is going to tell you, you know, secrets and how to get better. And I just happened to get lucky and meet someone who gave me the game and, 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 Put me on game and showed me you know what to do to lose weight or whatever and so i just looked out but um hold on let's see what this thing is saying okay so it's telling me to turn on nantucky hold on okay girl anyway so i just happened to meet somebody who put me on and who was who you know who was concerned about me or open enough about about the procedure to let me know what to go what to do and you know where to go girl you better be quiet how to get the procedure done and stuff like that baby because even if i move bitch even if i move up more you're not gonna be able to get the fuck over ugly ass <laughs> but anyway basically um she gave me the knowledge that i needed and after she gave me the knowledge I needed, shit, I took off with it. But guys, there is other weight loss surgeries that people don't even talk about. Like they have one surgery, it's called a POSE, P-O-S-E. And that's basically for people who don't necessarily even have like a big struggle with their weight. You know what I'm saying? Those are for people who might have just a 50 pound weight loss struggle. And girl, basically what they do is they go in your esophagus, they fold your stump, they, um, you know, they do, they fold, they put like staple your stomach. They just put a staple there so then you won't consume as much food. And so it's like, but if you don't know this stuff, you just don't have the tools to navigate. And not everyone, and I'm not trying to like preach plastics, I mean, um, weight loss surgery. Not everyone wants to have surgery. But I'll just say that it was life changing for me. But again, my weight loss struggle and me, you know, not wanting to give, you know, eating and stuff like that wasn't just because I was afraid to be, uh, to be fine or afraid to be sexy. And to be honest with you guys, like with me losing weight, I can't say this. I was scared to give up food because I was like, man, like food was my companion. Food was like my best friend. Food was like such a reliable source. It was consistent. It was always there. And so it was just like that fear, like, damn, like. If I give up food, then what? You know what I'm saying? And so anyway, I just thought that that was like, that was interesting. And initially I was going to pose the question like to my girlies out there who may have some weight loss struggles. I just wanted to know like, what are y'all thoughts about this? Like y'all want you guys to weigh in. Like, what do y'all think about him saying like, it's you, you know, we was just scared. We scared to be hot and stuff like that. Like, do you, do you, do you think that is that you're afraid to be hot? Do you think that like you don't want to give up food? Do you think like maybe it's just that you don't know what kind of surgeries are out there or perhaps you can't maybe not afford that stuff right now? Like, you know, what would you say? What do you say is holding you back? What do you think is holding you back um, in terms of like your weight loss journey and losing weight and stuff like that? So bombshells, make sure you guys weigh in and y'all let me know.
Hey, hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so let's just get into it. So guys, I'm about to do a mental health update. Um, I have kind of run into a little bit of a wall. Um, guys, it's not always easy getting on camera and uh, having these uh, updates and stuff like that. But again, um, you know, when everything first happened, I told you guys that I was always going to be transparent with you no matter what. Today was a, uh, today started off really, really good. And then I went and I checked my mail and um, I just received like, um, I don't know why I keep receiving light bills from my old apartment, but um, I received a bill and it just, it just, I don't know, it just triggered me and it just made me sad. So I was, um, I had every intentions on uh, having the vlog done and edited, you know, by 10 o'clock tonight. So it could go up tomorrow. So tomorrow is Wednesday, September the 13th. And uh, more than likely, uh, the vlog will be finished by then. I'm just hoping I can get it out to you guys. But, um, you know, guys, just to let you know, when you guys notice um, a slow up in the content, just know that um, it does slow up because sometimes I do hit these emotional walls and um, it does make it very difficult for me to get the content out to you guys. And so um, just know that. And so um, I was trying to post twice a week and so we're getting through it um but i just wanted to keep you guys updated um you know the the light company that i had prior to moving here they can't explain why i continue to send bills when they look at everything um they don't they explain that they don't see anything in terms of like um you know they don't see everything says a zero balance so anyway it's just it's amazing to me the things that you know that will trigger you and so it's like you think you you know you're doing well you feel like you're healing and then something will happen and it's just it is very it makes it very difficult for me to just kind of bounce back so what i ended up doing today just to kind of uh work through it i just did you know just cleaned and stuff like that and i redid my hair and I put on some makeup and so one thing that does make me uh, happy when, uh, well not happy, but it helps me, um, honestly guys, is like when I put on makeup and put on something pretty, that really does help me. Um, you know, I know, uh, you know, you guys probably think like, oh my God, <laughs> do you put on makeup every day? Honestly, I do. Um, and I like to uh, get dressed every day because it does, it does help me uh, mentally and emotionally. And so, um, yeah. So I just wanted to be transparent with you guys and just kind of let you know, um, you know what happened. And you know I'm fighting through it. And um, if I can just, you know, ask for your prayers and. You know, I'm, I'm, I continue to pray and I just ask God to help me and um, to heal me and bring me peace. And uh, I'm going to continue to pray. And, um, you know, I know it's not going to be easy to, um, you know, I know that it's not going to happen overnight. But, um, you know, I know that it will happen. It's just like, it's crazy because it's like, man, y'all, we, you know, like I said earlier in the vlog, we lost everything on june the first we had everything back by june um, by july the first and then um you know by september the first we were on our way to ten thousand subscribers and so it's just like crazy because it's like wow you know you think you look up and you live in this beautiful guys this place <laughs> This place is beautiful, you know, it's just like, wow, I still, I still can't believe this is the bombshell headquarters, but, um, it just amazes me because it is definitely a cautionary tale that lets me know, like, uh, 
you know, just because you have material possessions, that that doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean anything. And it's like, um, you know, your health is everything, meaning your mental health, emotional, uh, just overall physical, oh, physical as well. And so anyway, I just wanted to be very candid and transparent and let you guys know um, that is why the content did slow up a little bit, but you know, we're getting back on track. So upward and onward, but I also wanna take this time and show you guys all of this stuff that Platinum D sent me, guys. Um, I would like for you guys to go over to Platinum D's channel. Guys, please subscribe. Platinum D, she actually paved the way for all of us. She's been on YouTube for a while. She is seasoned and um, she has, uh, oh, her heart is just the size of Texas. And so she reached out to me on Instagram and she said that she wanted to send me some stuff. And I was like, okay, but I didn't think she was gonna show out like this. And so I just, I wanna show y'all the stuff that she sent me. Thank you so much, Platinum D. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna make sure that I link her channel below. Uh, guys, please go over and show her some support. Please subscribe and please let her know that the head bombshell sent you, honey. But um, we're gonna start off with this purse, guys. Look at this. So guys, I actually have quite a few uh, special things coming up. And I was like, I need to go and look for a really cute gold bag. And so she, and when I got the uh, package yesterday, I opened it and this was in bed. And I was like, yes, sir. So this is, uh, this was much needed. Next thing she sent me is this adorable cube bag. It is so cute. Um, it has the latches here. You open it. I thought this was absolutely adorable. So yeah, this will be perfect for a, a cute date night, honey. I love this little bag, girl. It's so cute. And then, honey, I don't know. I don't know who sent her the memo. Um, who wrote her? Who sent her a smoke signal? But guys, some kind of way she found out that I am absolutely in love with Rebecca Minkoff. And so guys, look, she sent me this really cute Rebecca Minkoff bag, honey. And guys, I had so many of these that I lost in the fire. And I just, when I opened the package, I just couldn't believe it. So this is a Rebecca Minkoff mini love. So it is so cute. Um, it's big, it's big enough to fit your your uh, phone in and just you know your essentials it's so cute and guys it's brand new and I absolutely love it and then y'all can we get into all of this makeup hold on girl let me make sure ain't nothing showing <laughs> can we get into all of this y'all look at all of this makeup she sent she sent me <laughs> so y'all look so she actually went out of her way and packaged up all of this makeup so guys, she really outdid herself. So let me see here. Let me turn it around. Guys, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven makeup cubes full, cubes full of makeup. So um, like the way that she, um, hold on. Let me see if I can reposition it. All right, so I, I um, unorganized it unfortunately but guys the way that she had it packed up she had like eyeshadow palettes in one um and she had uh like bronzers in the next container so she went all out and she said she uh she packaged and sent all of these lippies i'm talking about guys i'm probably not gonna have to buy makeup for it's gonna be a periodically long time before i have to wear buy some makeup Y'all look at this. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at look at all of these. Um, these look like cream pigments. And so what I'll be doing is using these like to uh, line my waterline and then as eyeshadow. Y'all, she really did outdid herself. Look at all of this stuff, girl. I'm sorry, I put that too close to the camera. And so, um, if I went through everything that she uh, sent, um, if I went through everything that we received, we would be here all night. But I just wanted to show you guys this. 
I just wanted to show you just, you know, some of the stuff that, look at that, look at, oh my gosh. Look how pretty these colors are. I'm just like, sis has been paying attention, honey. Cause she know what I like, girl. So I am really, I am just like, wow. Let's see, I hadn't opened this one yet. Let's see what, we'll open this together. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, y'all look. Oh, I feel so loved. Oh my God. <laughs> And then guys, let me show y'all the uh, the shoes that I bought yesterday. I forgot because um, I told you guys I would pick y'all back up when I got home. But honestly, girl, I was tired. But I did purchase these. I purchased these for $27. And I purchased these from uh, DSW. So yeah, girl, these are so cute. And I'm actually going to do a lookbook for you guys. So I think that'll be fun for us to do a lookbook. I just, um, I wanted to sing y'all this. I wanted to show y'all all of the stuff. And so I just feel so, I just feel so loved, guys. And so um, let me, I'm trying to get, put everything kind of in order. Because girl, we had to do it from the dining room because y'all look. Look how bright that is in the, behind me. So I wanted to make sure that we could see everything or whatever. So yeah. What I'm about to do is make some dinner. Uh, you know what? I think I should make a custom pasta rock, honey. Because I don't know. I don't like y'all. I don't like coming on camera sad. You know, it just, I don't like that. But y'all, this is just reality. And so, but I don't like coming on camera sad. And then y'all sometimes like, girl, y'all, I be getting discouraged sometimes um, with doing YouTube. And I know I'm like um, the catalyst in which people, you know, some of you guys, the bombshells y'all come to for inspiration. And, um, you know, I inspire you guys to start a YouTube channel. But you know, sometimes guys, I need encouragement as well. So lately what I've noticed is like y'all have just been randomly like posting um in the comment section like oh you inspire me or i've been having a lot of like things like just just randomly people say keep going keep going and it's like oh my gosh you know because i recently had a situation guys where you know somebody was like trying to age shame me like Oh, girl, you in your 40s, you know, you doing YouTube. Like, what's your end game? What's your end game? Like, what are you trying to do? And I was like, why would you say that to someone? Just saying, live your motherfucking life. You got to get your motherfucking hustle. Understand niggas is going to hate you regardless. Get that out of your head, that fantasy world where niggas ain't hating on you. You got to be grateful. You need haters. What the fuck is you complaining about? What the fuck do you think a hater's job is? To fucking hate. So let them motherfuckers do their goddamn job. What the fuck is you complaining about? Ladies, if you got 14 women hating on you, you need to figure out how the fuck to get to 16 before the summer get here. What the fuck is you mad about? I just thought about like how negative that was but then I also had to think about like this is someone who never ever 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 chased her dreams this is someone that she just never chased her dream she's just always been okay with her life and just as long as I've known her she's just never chased her dreams now guys I don't want to look at it as a negative way maybe she was just asking what my end game was but it's like if I, I, I know that um, I spoke about this on the uh, podcast, but ultimately there is no end game. That's number one. Let's talk about it, baby. Number one, there is no end game. And I did explain that to her. But I just want to have a, a platform, you know, where this is a safe space and where I help women. You know, this is you know, somewhere where you can come here, you can laugh, you know, you can get encouraged, you can be motivated. You know, that's basically what, what this is about. And then um, I also spoke on the podcast and ultimately I want to be a part of uh, some type of curriculum um, to, you know, maybe help people get started or, you know, kind of show people how to engage. But guys, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But yeah, so guys, like just a lesson, you know, uh, I'm going to give you a page out of my playbook, guys. Don't let anyone age shame you. And um, as strong as I may appear on camera and as confident 
as I might appear, guys, I get discouraged too, you know, and I know that I shouldn't let people say those negative things and that, that type of stuff. I should not mentally penetrate me, but sometimes it does, girl. And so I found myself questioning, questioning myself after we had that conversation of her asking me what my end game was you know what's what's your end game and i'm just like i just never dreamed like someone would ask me what my end game was you know what i'm saying and it's like why does there have to be an end game why can't i just um why can't i just enjoy life why can't i just you know do youtube and be an influencer and influence women you know that are, are over the age of 40 to uh you know chase your dreams and your dream may not necessarily be standing in front of a camera but chase your dream so guys anyway i don't want to beat a dead horse um but um just don't let anyone don't let anyone age shame you and um i think that's all i have to say about that She got that good, good. She Michael Jackson bad. I'm attracted to her for her attractive ass. And now we murderers because we kill time. I knock her lights out and she still shine. I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. But I keep her running back and forth. Soccer team, cold as a winter's day. Hot as a summer's eve. Young money thieves, steal your love and leave. I like the way you walking if you walking my way. I'm that Red Bull. Now let's fly away. Let's buy a place with all kind of space. I let you be the judge, and, and, and I'm the case. I'm gutter gutter. I put her under. I see me with her. No Stevie Wonder. She don't even wonder, cause she knows she bad. And I got a nigga. Okay, I get it. Let me think. I guess it's my turn. Maybe it's time to put this pussy on your sideburns. He say I'm bad. He probably right. He pressing me like button downs on a Friday night. <laughs> I'm so pretty like, be on my pedal bike. Be on my low starch. Be on my egg whites. He say, Nikki, don't stop. You the bestest. And I just be coming off the top as bestest. I love your sushi roll, hotter than wasabi I race for your love, shake and bake, Ricky Bobby I'm at the W, but I can't meet you in the lobby Girl, I gotta watch my bag, cause I'm not just anybody I seen him stand in line, just to get beside her I let her see the ass Alright, dinner was... <clears throat> Let's see, if I had to rate dinner on a scale from 1 to 10 I'm gonna give it a 6 and a half I be trying to look directly into the lens, but sometimes I find myself looking into the viewfinder. But anyway, <clears throat> I'll give myself a, um, I'm gonna give myself an A for effort, you know? So I'm just trying to get um, everything back in order. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get, y'all, I'll be... <laughs> Yeah, I'll be wanting the living room and stuff to look a certain way when I go to, you know, when I get ready to, to retreat to the bedroom, the bedroom. So, yeah, that's what I'm over here doing now. So I had to get the kitchen together. Y'all, I saw this meme on Instagram and the meme was like, <laughs> the meme said, why would black people clean their kitchen up after they clean the kitchen up? They just stand back and look at it. And I was like, because if you live with someone, which y'all know I don't, but if you live with someone, you want to make sure. I know I washed all them dishes. I know it was nothing on the counter. So if you know somebody come in and put something on the counter, you know you didn't do it. All right, I'm just looking around to see what else needs to be done. So it looks pretty clean to me. And guys, I like to clean my, um, my stove after I finish cleaning up, guys. After I like wipe my stove down and everything, I like to put hot water, you know, not too much, but just a little bit on the stove just to make sure that all of the grease and everything is just completely gone or whatever. So if y'all was wondering 
earlier like why did I put hot water on the stove like pour it on there because I just wanted to be like you know no grease or no, nothing left behind or whatever so that's why I do that girl y'all wait a minute let's talk about can we talk about the, the infamous tree one of the bombshells uh messaged me talking about girl I ain't know about that tree Tell me, I ain't know how that tree was gonna come out. Tell me, but it looks really, really nice. But yeah, girl. So y'all, this is that's the finish. That's the finished results of the tree. But I think I showed y'all that. But girl, yeah, she was like, she was just kind of like, baby. It, it. Tell me, it didn't look like an elephant stump. So yeah, y'all. Y'all, it's so it's so pretty in here. I love it. And then guys, this is what I did to the uh, to the um. The love seat so i kind of you know just th uh, put the throw on the other part of it and then i just took the gold pillows and put them uh you know put them on the uh, other sofa or whatever so yeah let me turn let's turn some of these lights out And then go over here, turn that out. Oop, turn. Girl, baby, baby, look, look. Baby, not me having every light on in the house. y'all i am back and i am tired you hear me y'all this was baby let me tell you something girl this vlog almost didn't happen this it was just you girl y'all sometimes i be going through it baby the head bombshell in charge be going through it you hear me so anyway we got through it and uh it was tough but i did it so guys before i end the vlog i just and this is going to be something where all of the bombshells can weigh in. I need all hands on deck. Guys, like when it comes to like um, pursuing your dreams and you know what I'm saying? Like doing what you want to do. Like what do you guys think is holding you back? Like, you know, like sometimes I think I over, even though I am pursuing my dream, I get in my way sometimes and then I let my, um, 
you know, like I'll just start kind of, you know, having doubts and stuff, but then ultimately I'll push through. And so um, I'm really working on that. I'm really working on like completely getting, you know, just getting out of my way or whatever. But like, um, what do you think? What do y'all think is holding you back? Like for the girls who want to start YouTube, what's holding you back for the for the ladies? Um, you know, for for the girls who want to like quit your job and really just pursue um your dreams other than like economic you know finances and stuff like that outside of finances what would you say is like holding you back from pursuing your dreams you know like what are your dreams what do you want to do and i just thought that like you know um I just thought that would be a really good question or whatever. And the reason why I pose, I'm posing that question and I'm asking, you know, um, you guys to weigh in because I see so many of you guys like, oh, I want to do YouTube, but, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like not moving forward or whatever. And so I don't know. Sometimes I just, I just be curious, you know, I just want to know whatever, because like guys, even when you pursue your dreams, the challenges don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't stop just because you've taken a leap. Like, you know, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to start. And then after you start, you get to another level. But on that next level, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to keep going. You know, and I'm kind of there. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to keep going. But I'm at the point where it, it I, you know, I'm, I'm facing some challenges. And so, um, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to, wanted you guys to weigh in. But anyway, hopefully the vlog is long enough. But, um, you know, at this point, I'm just, you know, we're just going to have to close it out because I need to get this content out to you guys or whatever. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and Thank you guys for supporting me and, you know, being patient and always for your encouraging and kind words. And um, lastly, y'all let me know which outfit was your favorite um, in the lookbook. I forgot to say that. Yeah. But let me know what your favorite outfit was in the lookbook and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Change your attitude for they asking what happened to you.